Hello fellow survivors, builders, and explorers. This is Saifa, and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft. And you know what I just realized? These copper, um, oh, what you call them? Copper greaves, copper pants, whatever. They only cover the front. <laughs> That's kind of cool. They just protect the important areas, you know, like, uh, like, like your knees and your butt cheeks. And the, the tender areas down there. But you know what? I kind of like it. It really does look like you got, you know, hunks of uh, copper attached to the front of your uh, front of your legs. That's kind of cool. Okay, guys. I mined up the sphalerite. Not nearly as much as I thought. Um, you know, when we mined up the copper, man, I had an entire chest full. And let me show you something else. When I was down here... I kept, I kept getting readings for more uh, sphalerite. Where is it? This way? Yeah, it's this way. I'm still hitting sphalerite uh, readings. Oh, by the way, I changed the texture pack. Let me show you what I'm using. I know it doesn't really look any different, and that's because it's not really meant to. It's this one right here, the HD3 texture. You can get that from the... Uh, Oh, there's a link to the forms and the terra, the terra firmacraft forms. The reason I I changed it was because I was having a hard time distinguish distinguishing the uh, sphalerite from you know just the regular rock. But the uh, the texture pack is a uh, you know a 64 by 64 texture pack, and it gave it a lot more detail. And you can see that the wood has uh, more detail and things like that. But it's very very true to the regular regular uh, texture pack. So anyway, I'm going around and I'm uh, you know, trying to figure out where I'm getting these extra readings from and and I start getting readings for uh, bismuth. So I'm like, ah, okay, I'll start digging and looky. Bismuthine. Bismuthinite. Bismuthinite? Yeah, something like that. And uh, you can see there's not a whole lot of it. But luckily, we don't really need a whole lot of it. I mean, it would be better to have more of it. But we will make do with what we can get. Well, only eight pieces of it down there. Okay, let's go ahead and load up our bags. Let's figure out what we need to take with us, because we're going to have to leave a lot here. All right, guys, it's a bit of a journey, so I will, uh, I'll meet you back there. Welcome back to home base. Now, here's something I wasn't expecting. Our crops grew while we were gone. I mean, I was way, way, way over there. I was not expecting that. That is pretty cool, though. Man, this, now that I'm home, this texture pack uh, definitely makes things look a bit different. Let's get some bronze made, shall we? Okay, now, the optimum configuration for the materials that I have handy is going to be 70% copper, 20% sphalerite, and 10% uh, er, Bismuth. Now, I don't have as many of these copper ore as I thought I did. I have some of these guys. Here's what we'll do. We'll go... So, 14 of those. 4 of those. And 2 of those. And that should give us some Bismuth bronze. I hope. I hope I'm not screwing anything up. I guess we'll find out. Well, that's going to take a while to cook up, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Whoopsie. Bismuth bronze! Look at that! Cool! Alright, let's go ahead and get her poured into some ingots. 
and it's a uh, pretty green too. Look at that, but only five ingots, man. That's uh, boy. Okay, let's get our first ingot, and boom! <laughs> Is that the greenest metal you've ever seen, or what? All right, I got these guys in here because I don't want them to cool down. Because I uh, I don't think that we can actually work this guy on an anvil, on this copper anvil. I think we have to work it on a bronze anvil. So if we want to use it for tools, we need to do it in the liquid state. Now, the problem I have, you know, is uh, I still have this stack. Well, I still have some of these. Yeah, I need more copper to do anything. But the problem is I just don't have enough uh, bismuth to uh, to make what I want to make. I don't think. Let me, I'll be right back. Let me figure something out. Okay, I do have enough bismuth to make what I want to make, which is a bronze anvil. And I think it'd be kind of cool to have a green anvil. But the problem is I don't actually have enough copper. And as far as I can tell, I do not right now have a way to use these ingots right here of copper to mix um, with the bismuth and the, uh, the sphalerite. The, uh, this vessel I have right here, I actually have those four copper ingots that I tried to work into a, uh, into a hoe, and they will not melt back down in this pot, and this pot is the only way right now that I have to make bronze. So I need to go find some more copper, and if you remember over there in our mine, I was getting hits of the, uh, tetrahedrite. My pickaxe is just about dead, so I'm going to make another one before we go over. Okay, this is where we were getting it. Traces of tetrahedrite. Now, this is interesting. Found borax. I looked it up, and this stuff is actually just uh, used for flux, I think. It doesn't really seem to have another use. Um, I... <laughs> I went uh, down this way, and I stopped getting... Oh no, okay, I'm picking up traces of tetrahedrite. I got really excited until I tested it. <laughs> it's more borax. But I am... Oh, for crying out loud. I was getting... Okay, very large sample of tetrahedrite. But the borax, I think, is getting in the way kind of annoying. I found it. Oh man, this was a pain. Look where I'm at. The water is right here. I knew I was too low, so I kept kind of coming up. But I hit the uh, the sand a few times, and I don't even think that there's like a big vein of this. I mean, I could be wrong. It's really hard to tell. But I had a lot of trouble tracking this guy down. Hopefully there is enough here that uh, it was worth my time. Okay. I think I got this worked out. We should be uh, able to get that. Now, we still have this stuff to play with. Okay, so 14 of those, 6 of those, 2 of those. That's not the, uh, I mean, we're not going to get a whole lot out of this one, but it's something. That's not what I want to see. I wanted to stay by my pit kiln. Look at him, he's not even looking at me. Looking over to the left. Get out of here! I have no... Give me back my tree, you bastard! Freaking neighbors coming over and stealing my stuff. Guys, I have never derped so hard in my life, I swear. This goes to show you why I should not play this game so early in the morning. Ugh. Okay. I was trying to put 70% copper, 30% zinc, 10% bismuth. That is 110%. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. So, let's put our tetrahedrite in. 
That is uh, 21 tetrahedrite. Okay. 21 tin. Or, I'm sorry, 21 copper. 6 zinc. 3 bismuth. That is what I actually need. Okay, I'm going to crack these. Get it in there. Fire it up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Moment of truth. Give me that. Bismuth bronze. Bismuth bronze. All right. Now, before it cools off, let's get this stuff transferred to ingots. There it is, guys. Okay, that is our take. 16... Bismuth bronze ingots. Now we have a decision to make. Do we make a bloomery or do we make the bronze anvil? I'm kind of torn. Um, this would take, let's see, to make the bloomery, it would take all 16 of these. Uh, hmm. I think we're gonna make the uh, the anvil because I would like to keep a hold of a little bit of bronze. Now I do have enough that I can make some more, but I don't have enough copper to make more. Hmm. I think I'm gonna make the uh, the anvil. All right, let's get these guys heating up, and I definitely want to watch this because I do not want to lose any. Need to get them up to um, just above bright red. Yeah, just just above bright red to where they are uh, weldable. And I certainly do not want to lose any. And then I just need to uh, turn them into plates. I definitely have enough flux. I'm assuming my copper hammer will be okay. If I have to make a bronze hammer, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me take these guys out of here. Okay. False alarm. I didn't get them hot enough. Bright red, not dark red. Get it together, Sypha. Okay, let's try this again without the, uh, paranoia. There we go, bismuth bronze, baby. What happened? Did those guys cool down too much? I bet they did. Oh, I, I think, yeah, maybe it has to be at the, uh, the little three mark or whatever. Okay, I'm going to keep working on it and get some double ingots, guys. Okay, there is our ingots. Let's make our new anvil. Exciting stuff, huh? Bismuth bronze anvil. Hmm. I don't want to get rid of my copper anvil. Sweet. Why don't I want to get rid of my copper anvil? No reason. Because it's my first anvil. It's, it's pretty. But I will move all this stuff over here. You know what? We can't end it like that. We've got some bronze. A little bit left over. We've got to at least make one thing with it. So let's go ahead and make a pickaxe. Okay. First bronze tool. First use of the bronze anvil. So the same thing. Ooh, that didn't uh, didn't work so well, but uh, <laughs> we have it anyway. Well, I certainly could have uh, done better making my first uh, bronze uh, tool, but yeah, it's okay. We needed a pickaxe, and we have one. I think I'm just going to hold on to that other ingot for right now. Uh, you know, I might need it for something else, so I don't want to waste it right now. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I'll see you next time.